Now, the African National Congress has dissolved its Mpumalanga Provincial Executive Committee. A task team has been put in place to oversee the province until its elective conference. Now, former Mpumalanga Acting Deputy Chair Mantlan Lovo has been appointed as the task team's convener, while former Acting Secretary Lindy Wanjali Jali has been appointed coordinator. The decision to dissolve the PEC was taken by the ANC's National Working Committee at a meeting on Monday. Newly elected ANC Mpumalanga task team convener Mantlan Lovo joins us for more on this. Good afternoon, Mr. Tlov, and thank you very much for your time. We understand that, yes, in fact, that decision was taken to disband the PEC, but this PEC in particular was elected back in 2015. Many people would say it's long overdue. So the real question is why has it taken so long to install that interim task team? Mm -hmm. No, th thanks for your time and greetings to our viewers. You see, sometimes our own comrades, they just decide to choose a location outside our organizational location because they know that we're ready to convene a conference and because of COVID, we requested to postpone the conference. When we wanted to reconvene again, a decision was taken by the ANC that must concentrate on 2019 elections. Again, on 2021 local government elections, when we're ready, again, we requested to change our posture and focus on elections. So we did not want to cling to power beyond our constitutional mandate. It was because of the ANC processes that made us to delay convening of the conference in Pumalang. Mm -hmm. But many have spoken of significant divisions within the political party in Bumalanga that to a certain extent, yes, COVID came, but it can also be attributed to some sort of divisions. We've been there, we've reported, we've spoken to the likes of Peter Nyoni who have spoken of serious divisions, factions that some believe were actually overlooked by even the media for the longest time, that it would be difficult to convene even now because you're highly divided. Is that the case? Uh, I will not want to respond to some of these uh, uh, allegations from Comrade Peter and others. He has decided to use the media to communicate with the ANC. That's why I said that certain members of the ANC decide to choose their own location and address us. Uh, we are ready. The conference is ready. I don't understand what is it that Comrade Peter is talking about because the conference is ready. Now we're engaging with our national organizing team there here in the province to deal with dispute from branches. But by tomorrow, we'll know whether we'll convene our conference or not. Mm -hmm. But this because... uh, complaint from other members that were related uh, with mm -hmm. problems in the province, that is not correct. We have got our own challenges as ANC in the province, just like any other structures of the ANC. All right. Are you guys still set to continue around the 11th? I know that the president is also expected to, to, to pay the province a visit. Will you be ready? Because there was that date that was tentatively set for the 11th. Is this something that is still going to continue? We are ready. The conference is ready. It's just waiting for the 11th. We are going to convene a successful conference. Our membership is ready uh, to receive the ANC from the PTT. So we're ready to hand over this organization back to its rightful owners, their membership in the conference next weekend. Okay. Now take us through the members that constitute this PTT. You are the convener. We heard of Lindy and Chalin Chali. Can you just take us through those that have made it to this PTT? Yeah, we... We think that uh, the, the NEC use uh, the principle of meritocracy to appoint this PTT. Uh, I'm surrounded by uh, good leaders. Myself, I'm the convener of this uh, PTT, and Comrade uh, Njalin Jali is the coordinator. We have got uh, senior comrades, comrades that participated in our structures, Comrade Fish, they are part of this PTT. I've got also the former uh, provincial secretary of the ANC, Comrade Lagin Denisa, is part of this structure. We have got graduates 
of the ANZ Youth League in this PTT. I think it's a balanced a structure that can be able to take our structures to the conference. All right. So you say the NEC here can find themselves uh, to merit as a basis for appointment onto the PTT because we cannot shy away from the reality that has become uh, in some provinces that you would need to have a balancing act of sorts because there would be some sort of factions, maybe just factions that are lobbying for a certain person to perhaps uh, succeed and become the chairperson. So there was no balancing here where you're of the view that certain factions were also accommodated and others were accommodated you saying it was purely on merit yeah if you start to balance you are starting to be fictional yes, we have got our own processes in the ANC you use through the eye of the needle uh, to constitute structures of the ANC we know that a PTT is not a constitutional structure of the ANC that is elected by branches let's go to the conference uh, our intelligent delegates are going to elect leadership in the province that will lead uh, this province for the next four years. So I will not want to really dwell much uh, on the, or to walk down and uh, deal with this uh, constituting of the PTT, uh, whether others were saying they want an all-inclusive, inclusive from one. But we are happy that finally a PTT has been appointed by the NAC. We hope that uh, we are the successor in law of the PEC. We are going to track all the decisions which have been taken by our predecessors and make sure that decisions that we think that will assist the ANC to renew itself, we are going to implement those decisions. And if the conference is ready, because the conferences of the ANC starts from the BBGM and BGMs, which are the processes of the branches. So we can't say that just because you have got a new PTT, then you are going to start from zero. No, we'll continue where the PEC left. If branches are ready, we'll take branches to the conference. We're just left with one week. And uh, as I indicated, our branches are ready. The membership of the ANZ is ready, just waiting for the conference. We're going to the conference next weekend.